If you're looking for a pre-built with decent specs for the price, keep on watching. Hi, I'm James. Welcome back to Newegg Now. Today, we're looking at the Ipison Gaming Desktop PC. So getting right into the specs, the stock CPU is an AMD Ryzen 5 5600G desktop processor, which gives you the world's fastest graphics in a desktop processor. Play top games in smooth 1080p with six cores, 12 threads with boost clocks of up to 4.4 gigahertz and 19 megs of total cache. Now the GPU is based on the Vega architecture and has seven CUs clocked at up to 1800 MHz. Now the Vega architecture offers some improvements over the Polaris generation and now supports DirectX 12. So yes, it has a core graphics card and its performance is pretty good. I mean, we're talking about games like CSGO and League of Legends, of course. Now, those are gonna run smoothly in 1080p. For more graphics heavy games, you might wanna look elsewhere, or you can, of course, upgrade your GPU. Now, its 3D Mark Time Spy Physics score is 7,492 points. 16 gigs of dual channel DDR4 memory, 3200 megahertz cache frequency, and 500 gigs of M2 NVMe high-speed hard drive to meet all your needs. Now, the motherboard is an MSI a520 Pro VH. Note that your Ipison may ship with different brands of motherboards, but at the same performance grade, the same performance level as the aforementioned brand there. So this Ipison model, it comes with different motherboards, so you're not sure which one you're gonna get. That will affect, of course, the, the ports that you're gonna have here. Ours comes with the stock MSI, which I see a lot of the people in their comments are saying is the one that they received. So, Assuming you have the MSI motherboard with yours, these are the ports you're gonna get. You're gonna see some legacy stuff on here. There's your VGA in case you're rocking an old monitor. And here's some old hookups for an old mouse and an old keyboard. Beyond that, we also have your USB ports here and an ethernet port as well as some audio in and outs. All right, we're gonna take off this semi-transparent so here we have four 120 millimeter RGB fans giving off that nice lighting effect inside here. We also have an additional fan on the CPU cooler. Just gonna have a look at that too. So you have pretty good airflow here throughout the case. Now it's stock power supply is a 550 watt power supply from SegoTap. Additional ports, we have USB here. Again, we've got some audio in and outs. Uh, there's your USB 3. Over here, we have a reset button and a power button. Now, the motherboard doesn't come with a Wi-Fi card, so this Wi-Fi card will be included. You just plug that into your USB slot and you're good to go. Of course, you can always upgrade the graphics card, as I mentioned earlier, to take on more graphics intensive games. But for a pretty good gaming pre-built PC for you or the kids with a pre-installed copy of Windows 10 as well, it's ready to go out of the box. You can grab the Ipison Gaming Desktop from the product link down below. For more PCs, GPUs, and other accessories, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James. Welcome back to Newegg Now. Another GPU for you here. This is from a brand called Peladin. Bit about them. Peladin was founded in 2016 in China. So in ancient times, soldiers usually had armor to protect key parts of their body. Of course, this idea kind of inspired the design here. Now in Chinese, in Mandarin Chinese, this is known as the Bai Kai series. That's white armor series from Peladin. So this is the GeForce RTX 3080 Titanium Edition from Peladin. This is a 12 gig GDDR6X graphics card. It has 10,240 CUDA cores, second gen ray tracing cores, and third gen tensor cores operating in parallel. It's the most suitable solution for those of you looking for some high-speed gaming, rendering, developing in AI technology, among other things. So let's get into the features. So along with great gaming performance, you're gonna be able to relish ultra performance in the latest game titles and amplify your experience because it's powered by the NVIDIA Ampere architecture. You'll be able to get a performance boost with NVIDIA's DLSS, that's Deep Learning Super Sampling, AI specialized tensor cores on this GPU. will also give your games a speed boost with uncompromised image quality to boot. So lets you crank up the settings for a better visual experience. Now, 10,240 CUDAs, uh, the core frequency is 1365 megahertz. Now, upgraded cooling performance is a feature here as well. Special circular tube with precision machining is interspread in the fin of the whole graphics card 
fits closely with the bottom of the GPU to achieve better heat dissipation. Here's a look at the metal back plate. A full-size metal back plate enhances the strength of this card while also providing better thermal conductivity. Now, the card here has three cooling fans which can speed up the heat dissipation process, improve the service life of the card as well. The fans also support intelligent start-stop technology. They'll completely stop when the temperature gets low and pick up again when necessary. Now, this card also features RGB lighting. The decorative piece of the white armor is designed with a gradient of green and yellow coming out of this white armor design. So it's gonna be, give you quite an eye-catching look to it without being over RGB'd, if uh, you're into that sort of thing. Now, so in terms of its IOs, 3DP and one HDMI port right here. That's an HDMI 2.1 port. You get 8K output as well. Multi-monitor support, so a wide range of entertainment you can enjoy. TDP of 320 watts and the suggested PSU, something above 750 watts will run it best. So that's our look at the Peladin White Armor RTX 3080 Ti graphics card. Grab that from the link below. For more GPUs, CPUs, motherboards, and more, you want to head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James. Welcome back to Newegg Now. So the Ipeson S6, also called Combat Zone S6, is a gaming pre-built PC that supports VR using Intel 12th Gen 10 cores and 16 threads, super high processor performance that can be overclocked. Cinebench R20 single core score of 1755 points, multi-core score of 6704 points. So with that out of the way, let's get deeper into the specs. Now the GPU that comes pre-installed is an Asus Dual GeForce RTX 3060 gaming graphics card, OC, that's overclock edition, boost clock of 1867 megahertz. RTX 3060 is a sweet spot class graphics card powered by Ampere, that's NVIDIA's second generation RTX architecture, built with enhanced ray tracing cores and tensor cores, new streaming multiprocessors, and high-speed G6 memory. The GeForce RTX 3060 offers incredible performance to dominate 1080p gaming, and that's just about the wheelhouse for this PC. Dual channel DDR4 memory installed. You've got 16 gigs of RAM in there. One terabyte of storage, that's NVMe protocol, high-speed SSD. That's in there as well. Now, of course, both of these are upgradable. You can check your purchasing options or do it yourself. Now, this is designed to set you up for a good gaming experience right out of the box. The chassis adopts the S6 Tower chassis designed by Ipeson. The unique panel design and the LED chassis light bar can change colors, gives you some outstanding design qualities. Now the motherboard is an Asus Gaming B660M PD4 motherboard. Now it comes stocked with a PCIe 4.0 M2 slot, uh, pre-installed one terabyte of SSD in there. There are two M2 slots. So for cooling, we have four pre-installed 120 millimeter RGB fans and four copper pipe tower CPU cooler that also has a 120 millimeter RGB fan, so plenty of fan life in there. Three in the front, one in the rear, pretty good airflow for heat dissipation. RGB lighting strip in the front as well. All of this is controlled by the LED button in the front. You can toggle through some different LED lighting setups. Now for the power supply, there's a Segotep 650 watt here, don't be confused. It says RP750 on it, uh, that's just the name of the product itself. This is a 650 watt power supply from Segotep, 80 plus white PSU, 80 plus certified, so you know that it's class, uh, PSU to power all of your components. Okay, in terms of internet connectivity, of course there is an ethernet port, but should you wish to use Wi-Fi, you can. There's a built-in Intel AX210 Wi-Fi 6E adapter that supports 6 gigahertz and Bluetooth 5.2. You can enjoy stable signal, high speed rates, high performance, and uh, yeah, plug and play right out of the box, hop on that Wi-Fi. So there's your Wi-Fi adapter, comes with these antennas as well to boost the signal a bit. Uh, up here we have one of these legacy mouse and keyboard ports. I don't think you're going to be using that. Also has a legacy 2.0 port or two right there. There's your HDMI, four USB 3s. There's your Ethernet port and three 3.5 millimeter ports for mic in, line out, and line in. So the GPU comes with an HDMI port and three DP ports too. 
Let's have a look at the I.O. setup. So here's your power on and off. Here's your LED button, which is going to toggle through a variety of different lighting setups. USB 3.0 port, USB 2 port, and two 3.5 millimeter audio jacks. Also comes equipped with Windows 11 Home Edition. It's ready to go right out of the box. So that's our look at the Ipeson S6 pre-built gaming PC. Want it? Hit the link in the product description down below. For more pre-built PCs, laptops, and other accessories, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James. Welcome back to Newegg Now. So, we've got a solid GPU entry for you here today, this time from Peladin. It's the Peladin GeForce RTX 3070. Now, being an NVIDIA graphics card, this GPU is powered by the NVIDIA Ampere architecture, built with enhanced RT cores and tensor cores, new streaming multiprocessors, and high-speed 8 gigs of GDDR6 memory. It's going to give you the power you need to rip through most demanding games at 1440p resolution, that's 2K. So you can also get a performance boost with NVIDIA's DLSS, that's the Deep Learning Super Sampling Technology. AI specialized tensor cores on all GeForce RTX GPUs give your games a speed boost with uncompromised image quality. This lets you crank up the settings on your games and the resolution for an even better visual experience. Now, in terms of CUDA cores, 5,888 CUDA cores on this, core frequencies of 1,500 megahertz. The solid metal backplate, let's have a look at that, enhances the strength of the card, and also this RTX 3070 Ti graphics card has even better thermal conductivity as a result. You don't always have metal backplates on cards in this price class, so that is certainly a plus. Now, three cooling fans all support intelligent start-stop technology. They're gonna completely stop when the temperatures drop, eliminating all noise, saves you a bit of electricity as well. The fans are gonna automatically start spinning quick again when the heat is on during gameplay. Now, in terms of lighting, it has something subtle for you, this decorative bit on the shroud here uh, is going to bleed a little bit of nice subtle white light. This is also going to light up too. So it's got some subdued greens, blues, whites uh, in its lighting as well. So this is also modeled after a piece of white armor. That's kind of the theme here. White armor that Peladin is going for. So you can imagine this is going to look pretty nice with its white green blue lights coming out of there and the white aesthetic is going to look nice in a nice white build. Quite eye-catching. Now, with three DP ports, one HDMI 2.1 port, so there's your IOs. Again, that's three DP ports and an HDMI 2.1 port. You can support 8K resolution output, multiple monitors, all sorts of options for video entertainment. Turning this around, so they've upgraded this to the new 12 pin look that you're gonna get on the 40 series cards. This adapter comes with it for free, so no worries there. TDP on this 220 watts, so the brand suggests you run a power supply unit of above 650 watts just to be safe. So that's our look at the Peladin RTX 3070 GPU. Grab that from the product link below. For more GPUs, CPUs, and other PC parts and accessories, Head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James. Welcome back to Newegg Now. So today, we're taking a look at an excellent gaming chair, even has a few hidden features. This is the Dowinx Massage Gaming Chair. So one of the first things you're going to notice immediately is its ergonomic design. The Dowinx Gaming Chair has a high back and a hidden footrest underneath here, which when used together will help you relieve tension in your legs and knees. Now the winged back here provides multi-point body contact to help distribute pressure and alleviate pain in your spine and lower lumbar region. Now the Dow Wings chair also has a full recliner mode which can take it anywhere between a firm 90 degrees like it is here all the way down to 170 degrees. So it's an excellent option for taking a quick power nap as well. Now to help you relax even more, we have the second standout feature of the Dowings chair, massage mode. By plugging in this USB cable, the chair will automatically start to massage your back. Now the plug itself is a simple USB-A, which means you can plug it into a battery bank, the wall, or even into your PC directly. Now moving on to take a quick look at the design here, you're going to immediately notice the chair is covered in this high quality hand-sewn PU leather. Now that leather is there to cover the six inch high density foam that sits on top of its alloy frame. 
Now we mentioned the reclining feature. You can adjust the chair's position. You can adjust the chair's height very easily. You can also adjust the position of the armrest so you can find the best and most comfortable angle for your elbows. Now this chair is also built to last. It features a class three heavy duty KGS gas piston. Best in class for consistency, durability, and safety. It has a maximum rated capacity of 350 pounds, so it can accommodate even the largest of humans. Now the seat is 21 inches wide by 24 inches with a backrest that's 36 inches high by 23 inches wide and an adjustable height of three and a half inches. So this is our look at the Dowling's Massage Gaming Chair. If you're looking for a great comfortable addition to your home office or gaming setup, head on over to the description and the product link below. For more gaming chairs, gaming accessories, cool gadgets, cameras, and more, head on over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech and we'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James and welcome back to Newegg Now. If you're looking for a gaming desk or workstation large enough for all of your monitors, media, and peripherals, Firmax has got you covered. Because today we're looking at the Firmax 63-inch gaming desk. So, word to the wise, this desk is a bit of a project to assemble. We just suggest you assemble it in the same room you're going to use it in, so you're not having to pick this up and carry it around because it's big. Uh, so that's the downside of a big gaming desk. Now, here are the obvious advantages. It's a 63 inch by 29 and a half inch desk surface. So you can see here, the surface space is awesome. You can toss a couple monitors up here, uh, fasten monitor arms as well. There's loads of space for hard drives, full-size keyboard, and other peripherals. You can stack papers, office supplies, cans of Mountain Dew, whatever, you've got lots of room, okay? The desktop is also made of carbon fiber plate. Let me peel this up here. This is actually something that comes with it. This is a massive mouse pad. So we'll just roll that off with the grommet holes as well. Uh, so this is a look at the surface itself. If you can get a good look at that. So the desktop surface is made of carbon fiber plating and it has this grainy kind of surface texture that's still nice and smooth. And that's actually designed to be waterproof. It's super easy to clean. Now you'll notice here by the divide down the middle, this is a two-piecer, so it's not a single piece, uh, making it easier to ship. Don't need to take my word for it. It's been reviewed plenty of times for this very thing. This is a very sturdy desk. It can support a lot of weight on it. You don't need to worry about it buckling in the middle. So it's sturdy. The legs are made of strong alloy metal and uh, a box frame structure to it as well. It's durable and rust resistant. Also the Y-shaped legs down here, the legs and feet, uh, underneath your desk, you're gonna balance it out and make sure everything's going to be on an even keel when you're working. So it can support 180 pounds actually of weight. So if you wanna sit up on top of here, a lot of people can. Uh, you don't need to worry about it breaking under the strain of monitors or your tower being up here or whatever. Now the desk is also equipped with a game handle rack on the desktop. So we've got things like this. You've got this rack it comes with, you've got the cup holder, You've got a rack over here on the side as well to hang your headphones. So that ha headphone hook here is also really handy. So cup holder, headphone hook, and the handle rack all comes with it. And, and there is also good cord management down here. And on the other side, let me roll that up. Uh, you can see nice cable cord management coming through these. So you don't have to worry about this getting all cluttered up with a mess, a rat's nest of cables. Also comes with an instruction manual to make assembly pretty much a breeze. It'll take a bit of time to set up, but relatively easy and won't require any special tools. All right, so that's our look at the Firmax 63-inch gaming desk. If you want a sturdy, large surface desk setup, check out the product link down below. For cases, keyboards, and more, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, it's Josh here with Newegg Now, bringing you some of the coolest new tech products at the most affordable prices. If you have more than one monitor, pairing them with the right stand can push your productivity to the next level. You'll be able to easily move, angle, and adjust your screen to better fit your needs. And switching to a single mount instead of two individual stands will make your desk tidier. Using dual monitors simply allows users to do more on their computers at the same time. Most modern computers can easily connect to a second display at little to no added cost beyond the purchase of a second monitor. Anyone who spends a significant amount of time at a computer could definitely benefit from a second display. Furthermore, 
It makes it possible for you to enjoy multitasking while playing your favorite video games. This extra screen real estate can be used as a desktop for web browsing, watching videos, or for displaying walkthroughs and other information for a game. So if you've decided that you indeed need to make this addition to your workspace, we have the perfect option for you in the Huanor HNDSA dual monitor stand. Let's take a closer look at the features on this thing. First of all, we have the dual monitor stand itself. With the stand, the upper articulating gas spring arm reaches up to 26.18 inches. You can freely choose the monitor height and make the positions of the screens more comfortable for you, for your posture, giving you the support you need for productive work. The stand also fits two 17 inch to 32 inch monitors with VESA mounting holes on the back for multiple brands. It is also very sturdy and strong, supporting VESA 75 by 75 and 100 by 100. Each arm holds from 4.4 pounds to 19.8 pounds. Another important point to make here is that stands like this one really allow you to maximize your desktop, making your workspace both tidy and professional. You are able to suspend your monitor on the arm of the desktop, saving valuable space on your desk and making your workstation all the more spacious. The integrated cable management also keeps your cables neat and tidy. Now, let's talk about the full motion adjustments. This full motion monitor arm allows your monitor to tilt, swivel and rotate so that you can find an optimal view angle to meet your demands. Landscape to portrait, whatever you like. This dual monitor stand also supports stacking one monitor on top of the other, making it convenient for work such as design and data analysis. The stacking mode works for monitors up to 27 inches. Overall, with this monitor stand, we have increased stability and convenience. The enlarged base and sturdy construction ensure superb stability. They support both clamp and bolt through grommet mounting, fit desktop with thickness of up to 3.93 inches and a diameter hole of 0.4 inches to 1.96 inches. The clips on the monitor stand keep your cables stored and going along the stand, making your cables really neat and tidy. So there we have it. Improve your productivity and viewing comfort by raising two compatible monitors off your desk surface with the Huano HNDS8 dual monitor stand. I've been Josh with Newegg Now. See you next time. Hi guys, and welcome back to Newegg Now, where we bring you innovative, exciting, and affordable tech products. I'm Tom, and today we're back out again with a very practical product for someone out there who's building your own computer. You might want to check a look at this. This is the FenV FV AXE 3000R wireless adapter. So let's take a look at some of these remarkable features and get it out of the box. Out of the box, you'll get your driver, you'll get your instruction manual, the adapter itself, surprise, surprise, the bracket, and the Bluetooth cable. Now, let's talk about the adapter. That's probably what you're here for, right? This is the FenV adapter, has the latest Wi-Fi 6E technology, which is pretty amazing because it expands the Wi-Fi band from 80 megahertz to 160 megahertz. So it's efficient for doubling the channel width, which matters because you're gonna get a faster connection from your router to the device. So the Intel AX210 chipset supports three bands, which are 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. Now the 5 gigahertz frequency reaches all the way up to 2,400 megabits per second. The 2.4 gigahertz, there's a lot of numbers, bear with me, goes up to 574 megabits per second. And the 6 gigahertz also goes up to 2,400 megabits per second. Wow, it's pretty, that's a lot of, meg, lot of megabits per second. Now, this also has a pretty cool feature, which is a stronger anti-interference ability, which allows it to establish a more stable Wi-Fi signal and faster transmission speeds. Now, you get multiple outputs, which allow more data to be transferred at once and enables an access point to handle a larger number of concurrent users, which is only a good thing. Now, this device, I should say, is also equipped with an external uh, detachable uh, dual band antenna. That's those guys right at the front. Now, the power amplifier makes sure that the Wi-Fi receiving or transmitting at a long range is not affected. So if you are a gamer, then I would say this guy, the FEAXE 3000R, could be a very good choice for you as it ensures a greater range of Wi-Fi connections and stability for your gaming. So it's, you're, if you're gaming, you're gonna need something that is reliable like this guy. Something cool about it as well is it does solve the problem of weak signals and slow speeds as the Bluetooth 5.2 can achieve 
twice, two times faster speeds and four times broader coverage than Bluetooth 4.2. So you don't have to get really frustrated because of weak signals or waiting for ages to transfer large files. And because of the Bluetooth, it can also be connected with the mouse, earphone, keyboard or other Bluetooth devices with again the Bluetooth cable. That's a pretty nice feature as well. So let's talk about this design which is super smart. It has this advanced and pretty stylish heat sink that uses high density aluminium to dissipate the heat that you get from the chipset which allows it to be more reliable and last for longer right. And the PCIe X1 interface will connect with almost any computer with PCI Express interfaces, so it's very compatible. Now, with this low profile and full height brackets, they're both provided with the package, so you can easily install it wherever you fancy. So, if you're someone who is thinking about solving Wi Fi connectivity, as I said, you're building a computer, you're in the market for getting your computer sorted out with Wi Fi, and you don't want to have any speed problems you want to sort all that out, then you might consider getting this guy, the FENV FVAXE 3000R. It could be a very good option. And if you, if you fancy one, just click the link below to order one. I've been Tom with Newegg now, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ta-ra, bye-bye. Hi, I'm James. Welcome back to Newegg Now. So, if you've got a PC build coming up, you might want to remember the name John Spo. Uh, this brand comes out with parts like coolers, fans, and cases, all at good prices. We'll be looking at a John's Bull case today. This is the John's Bull D30 MATX computer case. We've got it for you today in black. Note that this also comes in silver. So this MATX case, well, MATX in its name means micro ATX. So that's worth noting in case you didn't know. This is a small form factor case for a custom build. So let's roll through its features quickly. It has vertical cooling design. That means great cooling performance. Its vertical air duct design supports up to six 120 millimeter fans or four 140 millimeter fans with one 120 millimeter fan with them if you prefer. Now bottom up airflow means good heat dissipation as well, very important for your build. It also supports a 240 millimeter water cooling system. It's got size for that. So the rear fan can be adjusted to intake air into the case to provide additional intake air for the CPU radiator. So while it's small, and that will limit your build in some ways. Um, the case is pretty widely compatible. It does support full-size MATX and ITX motherboards. It supports standard ATX power supply. And note that the length of the graphics card you install will depend on your power supply length first. So I'll give you some uh, scenarios for that. If your power supply length is higher than 170 millimeters, the GPU card length is up to 305 millimeters. If the power supply length is less than 170 millimeters, the GPU card length is going to be between 330 and 355 millimeters, and it supports three slot thickness GPUs. So it can support single or double air tower cooling radiators as well, with a height limit of 168 millimeters. All right, and the rear fan can be adjusted to air out the case too, to get a better airflow going through there. I think we mentioned the airflow intake just now as well. All right, let's have a look at this. So in terms of size, 12.6 by 9.45 by 15.79 inches, that is the size of the build. Now let's have a look at what it's made of. Now the front and rear panels are made of high quality aluminum alloy. There you see the front and there's your IOs. We'll get back to that in a bit. Have a look at the back. You see some nice openings there for better heat dissipation. Now the side panels on this are different than this Johnsbo case in silver. The side panels here, this is tempered glass, which is semi-opaque. It's gonna give everything a kind of a dark tint. You can still see inside. And here's a look at the other side with this grating. Now what's cool about this is you can actually remove, remove the top. And of course the side panels are interchangeable. So we'll take this off for now because we're gonna give you a better look inside. But if you want to, you can simply turn these around if that makes more sense for your build. They can both be exchanged. So I'll just leave those off there for now. Okay, so to avoid cable clutter, to help you through cable management, there's also a recessed cable storage space right here behind one of these panels, which is convenient, as you can see, for storing the fan cables and part of the power cables here at the top. Pretty nifty. All right, let's take a look at the ports as well. So here's a look at your I.O. Now, 
We have a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C port. So that's gonna give you speeds of up to five Gbps. We have a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. That's a Type-A port. So that's your conventional USB 3. That's also gonna give you five Gbps. We also have a two-in-one audio port in the middle here. Uh, that's just your typical 3.5 millimeter port there. That's gonna be audio in and out. Finally, up here we have your power button. All right, so now we're gonna have a look at two of these cases. These are both Jones Boa D30 cases. We have one in silver and one in black to show you some of the subtle differences. So first, having a look at the black case once again, we have the semi-opaque tempered glass on this side panel. Here's a look at the rear, and here's a look at the other side panel with that kind of mesh grating there. Gives you a little bit more ventilation, okay. And the front panel is going to be the same. Now, bring in the silver case. There you go, it's the same front. Now, if we turn this around, you have the semi-opaque tempered glass here. And on the other side, you get fully opaque tempered glass. So that's different than the black edition. If I turn this around to the back, you got the same deal on the rear panel. And if you want to buy it in the white colorway, uh, the white colorway is going to be the same as the black one. You get the semi-opaque uh, tempered glass right here, and you will get this metal on the side with the same grading in white. So if you want to build a high-performance PC with a small case, check out the Johns Bohr D30 Micro ATX case in the product link down below. And for more PC cases, fans, power supply units, and other gear, head over to Newegg Now for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to Newegg Now. Keep your desk organized and open up more ports for your monitors and peripherals with the Wavelink USB-C docking station. So the Wavelink Triple Display Hub supports a single HDMI display up to 4K resolution and dual or triple displays up to 2K resolution. You can connect the USB-C to your PC using this and make use of the dock's 13 ports. Those include a PD charging port. I'll just show you all the ports here. Here's your PD charging port on this side. There's also a USB 3.0 port here. HDMI, HDMI. Flipping it around. We have our Ethernet port on this side and a DP port here. Now here we have your SD card slot on top and a micro SD card slot, also known as a TF card slot down below. Here you have some USB 2.0 ports with backward compatibility and two more USB 3.0 ports right here. And turning it around one more time, we have an audio jack here. This will take your microphone and headphones. So regarding its 87 watt PD 3.0 pass-through charging port, I'll just give you another look at that. That's right here. Now, this dock is gonna provide 60 watts power delivery to your laptop and 27 watts to other peripherals. So that's going to allow for quick charging times. It's going to quickly charge your connected devices while displaying or transferring data. Now the ports have gold plated connectors for stable signal transmission with minimal interference. Now looking at the body itself, it's sleek aluminum shell, feels sturdy and it doesn't get too hot during use. So that's our look at the Wavelink USB-C docking station. For a triple display setup and other great connectivity solutions, go ahead and check out the product link in the description down below. For more keyboards, desks, laptops, gaming accessories, and other gadgets, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one.